And for more on our election coverage this morning, we're turning to political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter. We have David Yonka here this morning. Very happy to be here. Thanks for asking me. Well, of course. We're going to start with Tonkin. Of course, he yes. lost in the primary. Uh, tell us a little bit about his comeback story. Well, Ray Tonkin and the voters of Pike County got a do-over because primaries are dangerous when you're an incumbent. And I think during the spring primary, he might have taken his opponent, Kelly Gon, a little for granted. And that's what happens sometimes when you're an incumbent. So he got a do-over. The voters of Pike County gave him the opportunity to come back. And he was smart this time in his strategy. Uh, Mrs. Dixon, the mother of the slain state trooper, offered to help, and he took it. That had a resounding effect on people because when you have such a case of monumental proportions like the Eric Frayne case, that's when you need a seasoned prosecutor. His opponent, uh, family law, uh, defense attorney, voters, when they go into the polls, want a prosecutor, and that's why I think he came back. Uh, surprising that it was as close as it was, I believe, with less than 500 votes. That's true, right, because she got the Republican nomination, and there are certain people that will go into the voting booth if they have a, uh, a, a, per, a person of their own party, they will go for that person. No, no, no matter what. And the other thing is, I think the child advocacy and the fact that there's no child advocacy center in Pike County, that kind of made it close. But it was a comeback story. He's a prosecutor again, and it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Absolutely. All right, David Yonka, we're going to be checking in this morning. Plenty of races to talk about. We are fortunate to have the sharpest dressed political analyst with us this morning, and we'll be checking in with you again. It's the only excuse that I get to get dressed up other than <laughs> church. That's why I'm here. You All look right. great. You look I dark. Do. Happy to be here. So for All more right, on our election you. coverage this morning, we're turning to political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter, David Yonka, is here this morning with us. Happy to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, we're talking about uh, Williamsport mayoral race, Cape Campana. First time since the 1940s, more than 60 years, is someone to win three terms. Impressive stuff, but expected. Well, expected because Campana's family has been a mainstay in Williamsport for a long period of time. His father was a noted doctor, his mother was a nurse, healthcare professional, so they have roots in the community. And plus, I think people in Williamsport, and like other towns, want to control three variables that are uncontrollable and they need a manager. And those three vari variables are crime, job creation, and quality of your life. Now, if you ask somebody, you know, what they want uh, to do about crime, they say, well, we don't want crime. We want more jobs, and we want a better quality of life. So I think that his 12 years on council, his eight years as mayor, that kind of gave him the opportunity to, you know, win re-election. His opponent talked about um, uh, the police protection is... More police may not be the answer, that's true, but Campana in the campaign, shortly before the campaign, asked for more police for um, the city of Williamsport, and I think if you have more of a police presence, uh, that's going to help not eliminate crime, but erode it. They had seven homicides this year so far in Williamsport. That was a big issue. He asked for money from the gas drillers. They have 50 police officers in the town of 30,000. So crime, I think, was a big issue, and I think people want a manager, and as we shall see, in the Hazleton and Wilkesbury races, it kind of dovetails with what happened in uh, Williamsburg. Sure. And uh, David, you call Campana accessible. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I think that he's one of the people that, I mean, if you take a look at that picture, you know, I think when you have that many children, you have to be accessible <laughs> to so many people. And uh, from what I've understood, he is the type of person where if you come to him with an idea, uh, he is very open and accessible. And that's very important. Not that his, can't, not that his opponent, Emily Gale, was not. But he has a res uh, resume, he has a record, and also the voter registration in uh, Williamsport, you know, leans more toward Republican than Democrat. So a combination of those things, you know, made him make history last night. All right, and you mentioned those two other mayoral races in Wilkesbury and Hazleton. We will be touching on them again this morning. Thanks to David Yonkai for joining us. We'll check back in with a bit, David. Thank and you. And for more on our election coverage this morning, we turn to political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter, David Yonkai. Hi, how are you? Thank nice you for be being here. here. We have Happy Hazleton to mayor to talk about, right. uh, Wilkesbury mayor to talk about as well. Uh, yeah, and just the last half hour, we talked about the Williamsport mayor for all three mayoral races, three of the largest cities in our area. 
crime the number one talking point? Well, right, and who better to win an election talking about crime than a former police chief? Tony George won convincingly. Uh, right before the election, there was talk about multiple write-ins that people were going to be writing uh, Mayor Tom Layton's name in. And then people were talking about uh, um, George's opponent, George Brown, getting his name written. And those votes didn't turn to, they, those votes really didn't pan out. Uh, Tony George hit about 3,000 votes, became mayor convincingly. Uh, his opponent, Frank Sorek, had an uphill battle because there was registration. And it's kind of hard to, you know, talk about ending corruption when you're running against a former police chief and also when you had an administration that didn't have anybody being let out of the city hall in handcuffs. So I think that kind of was not maybe the message to send because I think it was it was saying to people, you know, there's corruption in Wilkesbury and that hasn't been proven. Uh, Tony George had a um, infrastructure in place. He uh, had a former um, uh, campaign manager of his primary opponent, George Brown, and things went well and he becomes the next mayor with a very convincing majority. All right, David, let's talk Hazleton. What stood Hazleton. out in this race for you? Well, what stood out was actually the fact that you had two city council candidates running against each other, but then you had an independent named Scott Cahalan, and he really was outstanding at the debate. And even though he came in third and lost the election, he's going to have a great political future and in Hazleton. And for more on our election coverage this morning, we're turning to political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter, David Yonka. Let's talk Lackawanna County Commissioners. We're making history here. We made history in Lackawanna County. Lorraine Cummings becomes the first female county commissioner in the history of Lackawanna County. Luzerne County has had, I believe, three or four women who have served as county commissioners. So this is huge. I mean, there have been other more seasoned political operators in the past who've tried. Um, no surprise here in terms of the Democrats. Jerry Natariani once was a big vote getter followed by uh, Pat O'Malley, the incumbent, and uh, Bill Jones and Cummings, uh, uh, 92 votes separated them. The interesting thing about this race is, and also Charlie Spano ran as a writing campaign as an independent, but the interesting thing about this race is that th th there were supposed to be teams, Materiani and O'Malley, and then there were supposed to be Cummings and Bill Jones. Mm -hmm. But I believe that there were five separate campaigns going on at this time. And because, you know, O'Malley was a former Republican, Materiani basically was not endorsed, so you had a lot of dynamics going on in this race. Bottom line here is that the majority still belongs to the Democrats, and Lorraine Cummings becomes the um, minority commissioner. Uh, she was the founder of the Tea Party in Lackawanna County, one of the founding members. She is extremely conservative. There's a lot of people who, on a national level, will not agree with her politics. But locally, she's going to be like a dog with a bone in terms of being commissioner. She probably has the potential to be the most um, effective minority commissioner Lackawanna County has ever seen. We mentioned we were talking about mayoral races. Crime seemed to be a big talking point for more mayoral races. Cummings said she specifically wants to target lowering taxes, I think, in Lackawanna County. That's something that everyone is looking forward to, lowering those taxes. Right, and I think what she wants to do is she wants to actually go through the departments and see where they could actually cut. And it's going to be interesting to see if she can build a coalition with one of the two Democratic candidates who ran, because again, they were you know, Naturiani was not endorsed, and O'Malley uh, was running with Jim Wansack. So there's an opening for her to actually create some kind of change, as well as the other. I was going to ask, members. you see a lot of change. O'Malley, the mainstay, but Naturiani and Cummings, two people, not really a political background. That Well, Naturiani uh, basically ran for mayor, but he came out of left field in terms of, you know, winning such a plural, uh, win winning such a majority vote in both the primary and in the general election. So you have a top vote getter. Uh, in terms of Notariani, and then you have Cummings, who basically won by 92 votes, but won a historic election. So there might be a way for them to work together, and, you know, Pat O'Malley may work with them, too. All right. Thanks, David.